we can say katapa katapa of our body and lung is the one organ which exposed to the environment very widely intervention pulmonology will avoid that major surgeries so recently we removed one uh, thermometer as a foreign body so when you're navigating with a bronchoscope with a camera inside the windpipe how does it feel does it feel like you're flying a drone or something more complicated that's the actual beauty of uh, intervention pulmonology day of admission day of discharge will be the same day so welcome to the program doctor and it's pleasure to have you always thank you lakshmi garu so doctor looking back you always wanted to pursue medicine or um, did it happen just by a chance no never it will be a chance for me because uh, when i was 8th standard in a government uh, school from our village called pentla valley one of my teacher uh, science teacher he has shown one experiment called uh, live paramecium demonstration so paramecium usually we'll see even after mbbs or before whatever you are by pc and all those things fixed form we cannot see the live that uh, ciliary movements which i had seen and witnessed by his uh, experiment uh, after seeing that it was in an imprint and i decided to go for a doctor that is one first uh, thought process after that one of my village uh, a series of suicides something we had to do some society help uh, this profession is uh, one thing and uh, after uh, getting into this profession i want to become a physician more even though i have a skillful hand so surgery is my art i am a small painter like that so skill of that particular thing and uh, usually medicine surgeons will have that artistic skill and by profession medicine has a physician has a good uh, in terms of uh, challenging cases blend of both pulmonology serve the purpose intervention plus this one so now fast forward to interventional pulmonologist now that you're practicing so if finally meeru ela explain just that after covid everybody knows pulmonology is the one which deals with the uh, respiratory diseases so you think covid has given that much needed attention to pulmonary field and all exactly exactly because earlier it was a part of general medicine in curriculum and also in terms of treatment no patient is specifically asking for a respiratory diseases symptoms uh, i want a pulmonologist so interventional pulmonology is the one which is a sub specialty of the pulmonology so as you rightly pointed out what makes that interventional pulmonology different means say for example pulmonologist can practice uh, in a four sub specialties one is clinical second one is interventional pulmonology third one is uh, sleep medicine and uh, transplant pulmonologist so definitely as you said you know covid made all the pulmonologists be like rock star for a while for a while the exact how was that period like Do, can you recollect that period yes uh, as you said it is rock star and that served the purpose of choosing this profession to the mankind and uh, whatever extends uh, across the globe uh, all pulmonologists along with the intensivists and physicians they did an excellent job to get rid of that particular uh, once in a lifetime experience pandemic and uh, fortunately unfortunately our team was there right from swine flu pandemic which was there in 2009 yes. and 2019 this was that so we witnessed two pandemics we don't want to see more <laughs> even though professionally professionally it may need it so my first time bronchoscope your bronchoscope patkuna padu a feel ela undadi meeku gurtunda our uh, professors associate professors when they were uh, students bronchoscopy was uh, just a dream so when uh, they become a professor along with student like us so both we used to practice together so that was a beautiful experience where we are seeing the lesion our problem inside the airway which is 1 to 2 cm magnified to 10 times more so i'm sure you know pulmonology ante me chaala cases vastai chaala different types of cases vastai some will be life threatening life emergencies so when dealing with such cases how do you balance your cool i mean you have to be positive as well as maintain your mental coolness as well so particularly this happens even in covid also where people are not allowed to go inside the icu they will spending uh, lots of money and uh, first to two days there is no hope and we have to keep on giving the hope not at the cost of false assurance 
so this balance as you said this was trained over a period of time so these two blend of both private and government sector two different cohort of people so that makes us we can balance both one is financial and also emotional so what's the most challenging part of being a pulmonary stunter according to you so pulmonary in telugu lo manaku shwasa kosa nipunulu anta so deentlo most challenging part entante tb or kshaya టీబీ నే క్షయ అంటారు సో క్షయ అనే వ్యాధి ఆల్మోస్ట్ మోర్ దాన్ హండ్రెడ్ ఇయర్స్ అగో ఇట్ వాజ్ ఇన్వెంటెడ్ బై రాబర్ట్ కాబ్స్ సో ఈవెన్ టుడే టీబీ ఎవరికైనా వచ్చింది ఇంట్లో ఆర్ క్షయ ఎవరికైనా వచ్చింది అంటే ఇట్స్ ఏ మిత్ దట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ స్ప్రెడ్ లైక్ ఎనీథింగ్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అన్ కమ్యూనికబుల్ డిసీజ్ ఫర్ బై డిఫాల్ట్ అండ్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఐసోలేట్ సో హియర్ టూ ఛాలెంజెస్ మీరు అన్నట్టు ఒకటి టీబీ డయాగ్నోసిస్ చేయడం వాళ్ళకి అష్యూర్ చేయడం దిస్ ఈజ్ అ ట్రీటబుల్ డిసీజ్ అని చెప్పడం అండ్ వ్యాధికి ట్రీట్మెంట్ ప్రాపర్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఉంది వీ కెన్ ట్రీట్ హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ అనే అష్యూరెన్స్ ఇవ్వడం అట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ ప్రొటెక్షన్ ఫ్రమ్ దెమ్ టూ అవర్స్ హెల్త్ కేర్ ప్రొవైడర్స్ సో ఆ పర్టికులర్ ఎవ్రీ డే ఛాలెంజెస్ దిస్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ ప్రొఫెషనల్ హజార్డ్ so being a pulmonologist and uh, seeing lung health so closely so mere mana particular habits follow out taro or is there anything that you have changed over the past few years so right from beginning warm uh, walking routine exercises so usually i will do push ups and all those things routine exercises all those things and uh, breathing exercises always good we we'll used to teach our uh, uh, chronic patients particularly smokers and all those things pranayama is good except to some kapala bhati and uh, more forced uh, procedures we should avoid otherwise pranayama is a good one it will which will increase uh, our vital capacity all the time and uh, citrus foods and uh, green leafy vegetables are the staple advice uh, this thing and uh, we used to advise avoid cold and dust exposures whenever patients are having a habit of pets uh, it is very tough to counsel them because they are they love pets than human being loves some individuals pet lovers so for them that may be the triggering point it is tough to uh, make them understood you have to avoid pet exposure and particularly pigeons feeding also this is the most important where you can feed pigeons but uh, you cannot expose to that particular droppings and dust in general the doctor do you think lung health awareness amana public lo undantara because usually people worry about their heart health or about you know having good fitness fit body ela antaru so this is very well taken question because the reason is uh, whenever you have a problem say for example pain and the suffering which is very oh, catastrophic and life threatening then the attention is good but lung liver and the kidney three vital organs which can suffer over a period of time without any symptoms they can take the abuse out ah, of so va e vyadhi lakshanal lekunda ee moodu avayavalu uparithulu mootra pindalu kalayam so ee moodu effect ayi vaati maximum prayatnam avi chesi fail ayin tarvatane vaati lakshanalu kanipistayi so they are very um, we can say resilient katapa mm-hmm. of our body <laughs> yeah. so but that katapa has explo- exploited mm. even we also will be exploited so early symptoms is uh, less common and lung is the one organ which exposed to the environment very widely first one is uh, skin after that lung is the one if you see any if you hear any news majority of the whoever expires a particular certain period of time end up with a respiratory disease so now coming to interventional pulmonary doctor interventional pulmonary anangane most of the patients they think it's a major intervention oka pedda surgical procedure but technically it's a minimally invasive so how would you explain this so it's a myth as you said the uh, technically skilled person has to do and uh, intervention pulmonology will avoid that major surgeries say for example we have a um, foreign body which was stuck in the airway edana saram padindi ani antaru alante appudu chinna pillalu particularly uh, palli or peanut idi direct veskodam valla uh, recurrent ga pneumonia to admit avutundi symptoms em untai first eppudu oka 10 years 10 days back valaka history untundi mother or father has to notice adi miss ayindi ante valaku eppudu ప్రతిసారి కాఫ్ అండ్ ఫీవర్తో అడ్మిట్ అవుతుంటా ఎక్స్రేస్లో మనకు ఐడెంటిఫై అవుతుంది 
earlier days, maybe 10 years ago, we had to open the lungs, remove that foreign body if it is stuck. Now, using a natural artifice, what is a natural artifice for the lung is windpipe, our trachea. So, we will go inside with the camera. Either we are using rigid bronchoscopy or uh, flexible bronchoscopy, we can able to pull it out. So, recently we removed one uh, thermometer as a foreign body. A thermometer? So, it is an adult, uh, adult one only, but uh, because of uh, whenever patient was chill, sir, so oral thermometer, he just uh, cut it down. One part is inside, one part is outside. We are able to retrieve. So, when you are navigating with a bronchoscope, with a camera inside the windpipe, how does it feel? Does it feel like you are flying a drone or something more complicated? Yeah, flying a drone for a person who is witnessing us. But uh, until, until you reach the target and, uh, and without complicating the normal structures and without bleeding and within that time, we have to extubate the patient on table. That's the actual beauty of uh, interventional pulmonology. Day of admission, day of discharge will be the same day. So, till that particular achievement, it will be challenging. It's not like a drone, as I said. So, how do you think uh, the future of interventional pulmonology is going to be? Like, inka mana ki cool tools, inka ustaya or minimally invasive will become even more minimally invasive. How do you think it's going to be like? So, robotic bronchoscopy is there in the pipeline. So, where we can identify one to two centimeter of the lesion early stage and uh, uh, we can prevent the spreading fourth stage of the lung cancers, particularly lung cancers. We are 24 to 30 years old. Stage 4 lung cancer, lo, a particular deposits, metastatic deposits, direct spine low deposit, back pain dwara present in the lung cancer. To avoid that, persons who are having any risk factors, go for a sc annual sc uh, CT screening. Then, 2 cm or less than 1 cm of size of lymph uh, mass lesion, we can target it by this interventional pulmonology like robotic or navigation or radial ebus. These are the instruments, tools I am talking about. These particular tools use chest kunto, stage 1 low identify chest. A particular part of the lung in manam resect chair and dwara, we can save the so, early identification, early identification is easy to treat. Early identification is like any treatment of any other non-cancerous disease. So, it is a definite treatment. So, doctor, for people listening, if you have to give some advice about lung health, apart from smoking, because we all know, you know, smoking damages your lung and the other organs. What is that one advice you would like to give? Advice to the public. One is, as he may rightly mentioned, smoking has to quit. Tobacco chewing also will be harmful. Third one is pet animals, that fur, and uh, pigeons, lovebirds, feeding. And uh, some persons will feed with the seeds, and uh, some persons will take the selfie to the flying birds. So, this all makes and a particular dust exposure. I could not comment uh, everybody should avoid, but susceptible individuals and everyone allergies on this particular environment because there is an entity called hypersensitivity pneumonitis which is a progressive lung disease that means lungs should be a sponge like thing that will go into stiffen so that is uh, that changes usually in India particularly in northern India it is more than 30 percent southern it is keeps on increasing so because of these pigeons droppings lowbirds uh, uh, whatever the dust and uh, AC vent and uh, because this is a summer where you can use everybody will use uh, AC and coolers you have to re uh, clean it properly before you reuse it and pranayama uh, routine exercises exposure to sunlight taking a seasonal fruits and leafy vegetables are uh, there in everybody's uh, medical advice that's beautifully said doctor so thank you and it was wonderful interacting with you doctor. thank you Lakshmi so this brings us to the end of this episode. Hope this episode was informative on how intervention pulmonology helps us to detect some conditions in early stages and treating it successfully. And don't forget to tune in next week as well. Until then, take care of your lungs and stay healthy. Thank you.